Yes, all day on. Oh, look, there's the snow. Yeah. Snowing already. I was just saying it's it. It's a birthday miracle. <laughs> it's a birthday nuisance. <laughs> oh, I've got a hole in my sock. <laughs> oh, no. A couple of years ago, um, we went out for a pub crawl and it was blazing sunshine and we were sitting outside drinking pints. And this year it's absolutely freezing. Plan is we're going through to Edinburgh. I've booked us a table at three o'clock. We're going for lunch at a really nice Mexican place in Rose Street in Edinburgh. And then we're going to go around the shops a little bit so I can get Jack something nice for his birthday. You had a good morning? Yeah, it's been great. Jamie made me avocado and toast. By request. That's all you've wanted. You're I such know. a weirdo. I thought he was going to ask for like McDonald's breakfast or like a Burger King breakfast or I'm pancakes not, <clears throat> or something really unhealthy. I've not had avocado toast in so long, so I so thought, I always get I thought it would be a nice change of pace. So. Then when we get home, we're just going to have a really cosy night in with the fire on, watch a couple of films, get something really good for dinner. Just have a day off, eh, Jack? A day off. I'm ignoring my phone today. I'm trying to. I'm just going to ignore it. You're like a fine wine, you're just getting fan out all the time. And I'm really excited. I've never been to Topo Bamba before. Jack has, he says it's brilliant. So we're gonna go for a wee bit of shopping. And then, do you know what that means after it's your birthday? It's my birthday. <laughs> I have a one month birthday. Uh, this is the situation right now, look at that. I've got one, this, <laughs> what the hell? Ah, oh, your driving makes me sick. <laughs> but it's your birthday, so I won't complain. I know it's your birthday, Jack. But can I go and look at bag? There you go. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Here we go. And you thought I was looking at another bag for me. <laughs> you didn't know, you didn't know. <laughs> proud of myself for managing to keep that a secret. <laughs> Do you know what? It's probably not a good thing that Jack just believed me when I was like, I would like to go and look at other rags, please. I went right red when, you, when I found out about it. And I know. It took me completely off guard. I'm so chuffed. You deserve it. You deserve the world. And it'll be good for all your equipment when we travel. Oh, we got help from a girl called Alana and she was so great. She's made it really special, hasn't she? She printed my initials in, in hot print. She's, the, uh, what, do, what, do you, what do they call it? Hot press. Hot press, yeah. They, um, she hot pressed Jack's initials into the luggage tag and everything. So, it's a happy birthday. Oh, it's a happy birthday. It's so nice. So, so lovely. <laughs> Hello. It's still Jack's birthday. He's got approximately five hours, 40 minutes left of his birthday. He's gonna have more of his terrible birthday cake. <laughs> this is Jack's favourite kind of cake. Everyone thinks I'm a cheapskate because I got him a five, a five pound cake, but it's your absolute favourite. Oh, I'm really sleepy. We got another PlayStation remote, so we're gonna play some games. We can do a better. Hey, first comes right. a bun. Just put the bun down. I did that already. Give me the meat. I need the meat. The bun doesn't matter. I can put the buns here, right? Yeah. Stop giving me too much meat. I can't do it fast enough, Jack. Everyone requires a bun and meat, though. I know, but. Jim, get it, gonna fall the bin. Jack, yeah, well, look, go and get that. I want to. You can't do it that quick. Okay. Okay. Nice. Give, me meat. Meat. Give me more meat. Give me more meat. Give me meat. Give me meat. <laughs> chop, 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 chop. Service. The first one to come is lettuce and tomato, right? So you need Give lettuce. me lettuce. Give me tomato. Here's the tomato. Tomato. Here's the lettuce. Here's the cooked meat. Not the wrong one. You have to do it on the other side. Oh. You ready for your pan? Pan. Pan me. Fuck Here's a cooked meat. Cooked meat. Cooked meat. Tomato. I need lettuce. Lettuce. Are you like tomato, meat, everything? No, Why, are you, lettuce, meat? Why meat? are you not cooking meat? Why are you not cooking meat? Because you need chocolate. I've not got any meat. Right, there's meat coming. Let, oh, Get one meat. Then. Just take the meat off. I'm doing it. Oh my god. So I can't do that quick. Just take it so that you've got it and then I can move on. But I can't cook it over here, so. I know you give it back once it's right, chopped. There you go, meat. That's it, that's what I'm saying. Another one. 
Thanks. <laughs> Meat's done, meat's done. Give me the meat, 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 give me the meat. Why give me two? Do you get two cooked meats there? Yeah, I do have two cooked meats. I need buns. I need lettuce. I need tomato. Look at the order. Less less the bun, less than the bun. And I'm walking. Oh, take your meat back. What happens if you drop the frying pan in the bin? I think I think you lose. Wait. <laughs> it's not Jack's birthday anymore. Still is for a week. Back to the Jamie show. <laughs> That's kind of not true. We're going for Jack to Jack's, one of Jack's favourite places. We used to go a lot when we lived in our old flat because it was closer by. But it's called Koya's Cafe. Everyone from Glasgow loves Koya's Cafe. Really good. So we're going to go and we're going to get a roll. And sausage and potatoes gone. And that's the last of the baddie in. This is the final frontier. We say this every week. And then Jamie's going to get her hillbilly teeth fixed. <laughs> <laughs> what? My hillbilly teeth like... I don't know if you can see. It was so weird. The bottom of my tooth is like broken. It's really cracked. So I'm going to the dentist. I need to go and get my nails fixed. I've got one left in this hand and it is sore. I tried to take it off by myself and I really hurt myself. <laughs> so I'm just feeling a wee bit... I'm feeling a wee bit... It's stressed today because I'm up at the crack of dawn to go, to go down to London tomorrow and <laughs> by the time my nails are done and that, I think I'll probably get home about 9 o'clock tonight, you know that? Look at this! I can't stay in! Oh my god! I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by Jack and the dog. My tooth cracked, so I need to go to the dentist today. My nails are done in and I need to get them done because tomorrow I am going for a really exciting photo shoot in London. So I'm flying down in the morning and then I'm doing the shoot and then I'm flying back up so it, I'm not staying over or anything. I am a wee bit uh, stressed because I've got quite a lot of work to do before. <laughs> What's happened to us? We've lost our minds. A wee bit stressy because I've got a lot of work to do before we go to uh, Tokyo on Saturday which we're very flipping excited about. Jack's oh, kind of yeah. beside himself a wee bit. I think this is probably the ideal destination for you, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I've, I've wanted to go to Tokyo for so long. It's amazing. So we are so excited. My fault, my fault. I broke my tooth on a seed. I was eating like a salad of all things and I broke my tooth on a seed and it basically I've just left it for too long and now it's quite bad. But my dentists are the best ever. Dentistry on the square. That's people who did all my teeth straightening and whitening and stuff. Who basically made me look like this. So they, they did all my teeth before but that's who I actually go to for like dental work as well. I've been brushing my teeth twice a day, Jack. Twice a day. And yeah, now we're going home. I've got about an hour and a half and then I need to go and get my nails done. Okay. This is the game we play every day. Someone's in the kitchen, Robert gets his ball, chews it for a bit. Okay. <laughs> and then he comes back and we do it again. This is what we do every night. If someone's in the kitchen cooking, this is what's happening. Yes, I'm talking about you. Um, I just got here and I am shooting with L'Oreal Paris today. I'm very excited. There is a few familiar faces here. I am really buzzing because we're actually shooting with Rankin, who is an amazing photographer. He has done so many huge, famous campaigns that you guys will definitely have seen. Like, they did a really famous one with Spice Girls ages ago. He's done loads of movie posters and stuff like that, so I was really, really excited. So, oh, out of focus the whole time. Brilliant. And I'm ready. I don't have to get changed out my hoodie or anything. This is like the best ever. So, I'm actually really Really early. I've been here for a wee while. I've got another like 40 minutes before I have to I have to actually start shooting. So I'm very excited. Oh my god. Ow! Oh I'm sorry guys, I've not vlogged. Today was one of the longest days of my life. I am so tired. So I was up at 10 to 5 to go down to London and I just got home and it's half past 10 at night. Today was really good. We managed to get everything done. See it photo shoots. It, there's so much waiting about and it just it sounds so stupid but it makes you so tired just sitting doing nothing. I'm really excited. I was so excited to shoot with Rankin, I can't even tell you. He's great. 
He's really, really cool. He's really funny. And the team, they, there were so many people at that photo shoot and they had to do a crazy amount of like photo shoots and work. And there was like a little bit of video as well. So it, they had like two setups going at one time in the one studio and it was just like chaos. But it was really good. Managed to get it all done. I'm home. I was meant to have work on t tomorrow, but I've managed to reschedule it for after we're home from Japan. Morning. I look mental. <laughs> it's morning. Jack's way out. Today is more life admin. I have a few hours to start getting my makeup room tidied up and to start getting packed for Japan on Saturday morning. I also have the dentist at half past two. I'm going to get my tooth fixed properly. It's not sore anymore or anything, so hopefully it's not a complicated thing. Snowing. There's still snow on the ground. Look at this. Absolute joke. It's meant to be spring. We're on our way to the dentist. I'm not nervous. I'm either getting root canal or my tooth can be saved. I'm gonna get a tooth out. I'm not gonna get a tooth out. I can feel it. Oh, shut up. Biggest needle they have in your gum. Jack, it's not funny. The only reason I'm not scared is because I don't like my dentist. Do we have a lollipop after it? No, you don't. That's, you don't do that anymore. Do you not? Yeah, stick out. Stick out. If you're wee. I'm just glad that they're managing to fix it before we go to Tokyo. I think I'm gonna have a numbing face when I see you next. Meanwhile. How's your mouth? Still sore? Oh well, the Jack McCann show takes over. We're gonna go and see a film called A Quiet Place. We just came out today and apparently it's really, really scary. Who's in it? Emily Blunt. Emily Blunt is in it. Usually we don't go to the cinema and see horror movies because a certain someone is scared. <laughs> yeah, Jamie's, Jamie's scared of horror films in the cinema, so. We don't usually go and see them, but tonight we're making an exception because this family. False news, false news. False news, false news. What was I saying? Yeah, so we're going to make an exception and go and see this because apparently it is dynamite. Jamie's high on painkillers anyway, so she'll probably just sleep through it. So I'll be able to watch in peace. <laughs> Bye. It's not even sore, it's kind of steep. <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to try and order a children's Nando's because they do what I want. Just chicken strips and mashed potato. That's all I want. Maybe you are a mashed potato today. 
this is what it's resorted to. This is what I'm dealing with. I'm full of chicken and chips and sugar. <laughs> We managed to change our seats from way down there to way up here so that Jamie doesn't get scared. You look so incognito, you can't see your eyes because of the cap. Jack and Jamie's film ratings, uh, what would you give a good, a quiet place? I would give a quiet place 8.5. Yeah, uh, we absolutely loved it. It was, it was scary but it was well thought out. It made me cry twice. Yeah, it was quite emotionally. Quite emotionally draining but it was brilliant. I highly recommend 90 minutes well spent. If you have a chest infection, don't go and see it because <laughs> if you cough the whole way through it, it might, it might just ruin it. Morning. Um, I just got back from the hairdressers. <sighs> I'm looking so fresh. We're away to Japan. We're so excited. So excited. I feel a bit sick. We leave tomorrow morning around 5.30. We get picked up in the morning. So it's currently about 11 o'clock, half 11 and I am needing to pack. I've got an ASOS delivery waiting to get here. Don't know where it is, but I need it now. A day at home today, getting ready, getting the house ready. Mum and dad are coming to stay and look after the doggy. And um, I just got the most beautiful PR parcel ever. I'm gonna show you right now. How amazing is that? And we've got two eyeshadow palettes, a blush palette, two blushers and six lipsticks and we've also got a couple of pencils and this is the new NARS collection with Airdem. I really hope I'm saying that right. You know me and my pronunciation look drug but even likes it don't you buddy? And I also just got the new Patrick Star collection with MAC which I am so excited about. Absolutely loved his last collection. So this is going to be super different for me. Pink lips, pink blusher and a bright palette but we're going to try it out definitely. Ah. Yeah, bite him, Jabba. Bite him. Bite him. Ah. 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 <laughs> oh. That looks absolutely disgusting. Stop messing with my my evening snack. What? What is underneath that cheese? Jam. <laughs> Pull the cheese up and show me. Show everyone jam. what the f there's jam underneath that cheese. Right, let me just explain it to you, right? Jam. Butter. Jam, let me explain, let me explain. Bread, buttered both sides. Jam and cheese. Don't knock it till you've tried it. That looks hideous. Right, and then you put the buttered bit of toast on top of the other buttered bit of toast. It sounds like something they'd serve in Alice in Wonderland or something like that. Do you want something that's really gonna freak you out? What? Watch this. You're kidding me, Owen. <laughs> you're just doing, you're doing that for the vlog. You would, no, never would you ever cut your sandwich on like that. I just wanted to see if you'd freak out. That is fucking ridiculous. Ridiculous. This is what I'm living with, guys. I feel like I'm actually good. I think I think I've ruined it for myself by cutting it that way. This is what I'm living with. Horrible. Horrible. Let me I see. The it. Let me see the inside of it. That is absolutely bogging, man. Got Why up. are you so loud? Because I've been up for about an hour. Jimmy literally just opened her eyes. And it's time to go to Tokyo. Time to go to Tokyo. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh above the irony of everything I like the way you're thinking I don't really care about the music on the dance floor I don't really mind all the smokers in the bathroom I don't care at all, baby, you got my attention So you were saying, oh no I don't see the logic of things It's quite a to me. 